Hello everyone, welcome back once again to my YouTube class. Guys, I am Manjit Rawat, your online instructor. And uh, today I am going to describe you about another topic of Azure AG104. And in this session, we will give you the complete information about the Azure Storage application. So in this part, we will discuss about the entire storage account application and also we will discuss about uh, object application. So this is our agenda. First of all, we just need to know about the uh, theoretical part, how our application can perform the task and we'll discuss about the prerequisite and also we'll give you the proper lab, how you can set up your storage application and object application. So as per the name suggests, if we talk about uh, replication, so it means that you are making a failover of your data. You, are, you, you, you will be make a failover of your data or entire storage account means because you know that in case of single storage account, we are able to find four different types of uh, uh, product you can say that are four different types of services which is responsible to manage your storage uh, storage activity so as we know that whenever we create our storage account we are able to find a container table files and queues as well so uh, in this case I'm going to show you how you can create a replica for entire storage and after that we'll discuss about how we can create the uh, replication for individual object so for this particular task, what we need to do, uh, let's try, try to understand about the meaning of uh, uh, Azure Storage Replication. So for example, if we talk about the replication, so it is uh, categorized in two different parts. One, we are able to make a replica of entire storage. For example, you created one storage with name of ABC and another storage you, need, you created uh, uh, XYZ. So, you want to create a replication between each other. So in this case, for example, you created one container like with name of uh, uh, training one. And in XYZ, you created another container with name of uh, uh, training two. So firstly, you need to understand about the concept of uh, object based application. And after that, we'll give you the uh, step how you can manage the replication of entire storage account. So in this case, for example, you uploaded one data like as a, you uploaded one txt file in uh, uh, storage uh, container one means in storage of uh, ABC and uh, after replication you will be find the same data will be replicate uh, into XYG storage account under the container of training two. So this is the concept of uh, object replication because in this case you are able to make a replica between a particular object or container and if we talk about the uh, replication between uh, storage account so what you need to do for example you created uh, one storage account in location of uh, central US and you want to create another copy of same storage account in different location like as the east US or west US so by using the geo replication, uh, we are able to make a replica for entire store, uh, storage account. So this is the basic concept of our storage replication service. I'm going to show you the proper step, how you can create uh, a replication for object and how you can create a replication for entire storage account. So what you need to do, prerequisite is, uh, you know that we need to create at least two different storage account. If you want to set up an object replication and if you want to configure the replication for your individual storage, you can proceed with a single storage account. We need to open our Azure portal and over Azure portal need to create a one storage as a primary, you can say that, uh, master and second storage we will create as a destination, as a secondary or as a slave. So we need to open our storage account and over our storage account firstly need to create a two different storage because we are planning to configure our application of our storage account object. So we need to use the proper step uh, as you know that uh, to create a storage account we just need to open our storage account panel and uh, select container. Container you know that resource group and type the name of your storage account. So I'm going to proceed with the name of uh, training storage 1988 okay and uh, select the location so I'm going to create it in central US second important option is performance so as we know that in case of a standard uh, you have to pay a small amount if you proceed with premium you will be get a, a low latency means high, uh, high data transaction speed between the uh, client to our Azure storage account 
and one of important thing the prerequisite of uh, uh, azure storage application you must need to proceed with the grs or zone ready identity storage because in case of local storage we are unable to find any kind of replication service because in case of local ready identity storage you will be get a three copy of your single data but unfortunately all single data are available in same location so that's why you must need to proceed and create your storage account in uh, geo ready identity uh, storage grs so i'm going to create uh, one storage in uh, uh with name of training storage 1988 and after that we'll create a, another storage and then we'll make a, a replica between each other so now we successfully proceeded for uh, training storage 1988 and once it's created successfully we will uh, once it create we will move ourselves to create another storage account for the replication purpose so now it's in progress we need to wait uh or meanwhile you can proceed for another storage account as well okay so uh, need to create another storage account use same procedure and both storage account must be in same, same location and same resource group because you are trying to create a object based application create a uh, storage account select your container name and uh, subscription as well if you have a multiple subscription you must need to create a uh, your storage account on same uh, subscription so i'm going to choose the same resource group and same subscription and if we talk about the storage name so this time i'm going to proceed and create our storage account with name of class 1988 class storage 1988 must be in same location central us no need to do anything you can proceed with the standard and grs review and create so as per the diagram uh, we created uh, two different storage one training storage 1988 okay another storage account name is class storage 1988 okay so you can say that training storage 1988 is a kind of uh, it's a a uh, master our primary location and the class storage 1988 we will make it as a secondary storage account fine so our training storage account uh, ready to use and meanwhile we need to wait because our class storage 1988 is a uh, in progress so we need to wait one or two minute once our storage both storage created successfully we will make a object replication and also try to understand about the concept of uh, uh, geo replication yes i'm talking about the replica of our entire storage account uh, entire service which is available in single storage account so it's a really simple option that you need to use to configure the object based replication services uh, first of all you need to create one container like just need to click on container and uh, try to create any container this time i'm going to proceed with name of training 1 if you want to make it public just proceed with the container public create and now training 1 is our source you can say that and we will make a training 2 in our second storage cool now second storage is also ready to use now we are on the property of class storage 1988 click containers and create another blank container so this time i'm going to create our container with name of training 2 and create now we successfully created two different storage account and each and every storage account contain a uh, one one container training 1 and another is training 2 okay so next need to create a replica between each other because we are performing the task of object replication right fine training 1 which is available in uh, 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 storage account name training storage 1988 and uh, training 2 which is available in class storage 1988 
just want to take uh, just want to configure the replica between each other so open a property of any storage account if you want to make a primary uh, 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 storage account uh, to training storage 1988 you need to open the property of training storage if you want to make a primary of class storage 1988 you need to open the property of class storage so in this case just need to open the property of our storage account and see we are able to find two different options in data management one is your application and another is object replication. So firstly, need to know about the object replication. Then we'll move ourselves to uh, your application service. Click object replication. Here we are able to find three, two different options are available. One set up replication rule and another is upload your existing replication rule if you created and downloaded the uh, YML and uh, uh, code of your uh, existing replication rule. So I'm going to proceed on uh, set a new rule, select the destination. So as we know that in case of destination, you need to select the second storage account that you want to make a secondary. And after that, provide the information of your source container and another is training container. Very simple option that you need to use to configure the object replication and click save and apply. It will take mostly 30 to 40 seconds. And once our application is ready to use, uh, we will uh, upload our data in our training storage 1988 and you will be get the same data in class storage 1988 although you know that we have a two different types of storage account are available cool everything is okay we successfully created a rule for application now need to check uh, our container so right now our co both containers are blank need to click on no, training container that we created there are no data available in the class, we don't have any data, right? So what I'm going to do, we created our application. So just need to select that training one and upload any data from your on-premises machine. And you will be fine. Uh, you will be get the same data in both locations. So I'm going to upload any data like TXT, image or uh, recordings, anything you can upload. Okay, so in this case, I'm going to upload the one uh, image file any data you can select from here okay click upload it will take up to 30 to 40 seconds uh, and you will be get the same data uh, will display in our class storage and training uh, tra tra training to container now we are able to find it just need to refresh and wait up to 30 seconds I'm going to refresh the entire page. Okay, it will take hardly uh, less than one minute Class storage 1988 is you can say that secondary location and training storage 1988 is our primary location. Okay, training two is our container. Need to wait. Okay, now within one minute, we are able to find both data are available in uh, uh, both storage accounts. So this is the training one that container we created in location of uh, in our training storage 1988. And this is training two, the container which is available in class storage 1988. So see, we are able to find the same data which is available in both locations. So it will be automatically happen once you upload data new data in our training storage 1988 you will we get the same information in second location or second uh, storage account 
so this is the information about the object application now talk about uh, uh, geo application or you can say that uh, replication for entire storage account so it's a really simple option it's a kind of failover but you just need to select the same data management option click geo application and one of important thing if you have already created the uh, uh, object application you are unable to make a failover so that's why what you need to do uh, you need to delete the existing uh, uh, object or application that you created. So I'm just going to check it. It will give us an error because you have already created a one object uh, replication. So you need to delete it and try again. I'm going to delete it and uh, again try to create a replication for entire storage account. So in this case, no need to proceed with uh, two different storage account. You just need to click on your application, select prepare for failover and proceed with confirmation. Yes. Now it will take up to five to 10 minutes. Once your application or failover is ready to use, you are able to get your data from two different location because here we are able to find central US is our uh, primary location and East US2 is our secondary location means they your data will be stored in two different lo geographical location if any problem occurred if, if any natural disaster occurred in certain US based data center so you can re revert your data recover your data from East US2 data centers so guys this is all about the object replication and uh, replication for entire storage account I hope you all of you understand about the concept and the uh, uh, procedure to create the replication. So we'll connect soon with another services which is available in the property of storage account. Uh, take care and bye bye guys.